anytime, anywhere. Save the number. Save a life. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. From the Club Raymond Motor Cars Studio, you're listening to 1230 WBZT, an iHeart radio station. The thoughts and opinions expressed are those of the sponsor and don't necessarily reflect those of the station or iHeart Media. Would you love to deepen your spiritual connection and create a conscious shift in your life? Do you seek answers to the human experience? Welcome to Spiritually Speaking with Sarah, a two-hour safe haven for your questions and spirit's answers to transform your life. A gifted spiritual advisor, coach, and medium, Sarah Spiritual will assist you to connect to the light within and transcend beyond the limits of all possible experience and knowledge. Spiritually Speaking with Sarah is presented by the Expedito Enlightenment Center in the Tree of Life Plaza in West Palm Beach. For the next two hours, listen, call in, and watch Sarah live on Periscope and Facebook and share love and light. indeed i am spiritually speaking to all of you here live on wbzt i heart radio wwnn 1470 am and 95.3 and we're spiritually speaking to our guides and to our angels do you have questions for your angels do you want to know what's going on well we are dialing up and bringing down the answers and we're going to serve them to you on a spiritual platter today and we're going to see what spirit has to say you know life is full of so many people who come in our path we have guides and we have angels in the heavens but often there are people in our lives who become our spiritual guide they become our mentor 
they become the person who makes a difference in our life and assists us in how we make choices and give us some food for thought. Do you have that person? Do you have someone in your life that helps you through your day-to-day -day activities and gives you that leg up, gives you that clarity you need? Well, tonight we're going to talk to your spiritual guides, but remember, each one of us, we have an opportunity to be of service to someone else. We have that opportunity to assist them and to make sure that we are doing everything we can to pay it forward. Have you had those opportunities in your life where someone perhaps assisted you? They let you know that they were there for you? You see, we're never really as alone as we think we are. I was blessed to speak with several people today and in our conversations we were talking about how they were feeling and how perhaps they don't feel that they have the support that they need and they feel sometimes very alone and out of their body so to speak they're they're not feeling like they're enjoying their life and they're trying to find that inner peace that inner joy that's the answer to find that peace inside when I met my spiritual teacher well my life was going through a series of changes you know they say when the student is ready the teacher will appear so in walks someone who made all the difference in the world and I needed someone to give me some advice I needed someone who was going to shed some light on some situations that were surrounding me and I needed to feel as if somebody cared have you ever felt that way? Like you need to know that somebody's in your corner. Somebody's got your back. That you're covered. And in the physical realm, we have been brought to believe that we need that unity in the physicality, in that connection with someone. So we've been raised in a tribal environment. We've been raised in a family environment. We've been raised to count on each other. And when we're little, that conditioning works so beautifully because, well, our parents do usually care for us. But when we get older, we have to go out and seek those who would really be a part of our circle. And that's where some of us, some of us have gotten burned. We've made those choices of selecting someone to be in our inner circle only to find out that they really weren't in our camp. They weren't part of that inner circle. They weren't holding the same core values, the same understanding. They weren't really in a place where they felt as if they were one with us and we were one with them. And every day we look to find this beautiful experience. And then we find that at the end, sometimes we're feeling very alone, even though we have the company of others, even though we have a circle because the answers, they do come from inside. And your spirit guides, they're always whispering to you. They're always talking to you. They're waiting for you to pay attention. They want you to notice what you notice. They want you to listen with your heart. They don't want you to listen with your mind. They want you to look for the guidance. And then, right before you, they're going to place the answers. It is that simple. And sometimes we don't like the answers. Sometimes we can't handle the truth at the time. So they're so kind, they spoon feed us. Sometimes they don't give us the whole story, because if they gave the human mind the whole story, we'd go off on a tangent. Lord knows what we would be talking about. But in the spiritual realm, their mission is to guide us and not influence our free will. You have the power to choose. So they give us the nuggets of wisdom, the notice what you notice, the oh, pay attention, the trust your influences with inside, trust the feeling. What does it feel like? Does it feel good to you or does it feel uncomfortable? They do that for us. And it's up to us to be still. How still are you? Some of us are driven to distraction, running here, running there, keeping ourselves so busy that we don't know what's going to happen next. 
and we go from place to place to place to place. But how wonderful is it when we stand connected in the divine light only knowing that we're one with the universe and no matter what happens, we're all connected. No matter what happens, we're one. And life has a series of things that occur for an important reason. Even the things that make you feel as if this is really not very pretty. This is uncomfortable. What about the choices that you've made? Do you have a couple of those not one of your better moments? Yes, we all do. But what are you going to do? You have to stay where you are for the moment and then look for the exit strategy. And the universe is there to give it to you. But we're going to open up the channels tonight for our spirit guides and our angels. And we're going to ask that they step forward. We're going to summon Archangel Michael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Gabriel, and Archangel Raphael. We're going to call them all in. And we're going to ask that they all step forward and that they all assist us tonight. We're going to ask for the presence of your guardian angels. We're going to ask for our loved ones on the other side because they're in that essence of the divine. They're in that vibration of love. And they're always there. You know, I was so blessed. One of my clients is so dear to me, and she said that she has a place I could go for a couple of days, and so I packed up everything, and off I went, right over to the West Coast. And it was so beautiful there, and I've been there several times. And the beauty was so magnificent because it gave me the opportunity to just pause and notice what I noticed. And there were shells everywhere because the waters have washed them up from the turbulent waters of the storm the night before and there were piles of shells and go to my Facebook page and see the shells because each one was unique each one had its own fingerprint its own curves its own indentations its own shadings its own shape no two shells were the same when they looked the same and I picked them up and I held them in the sunlight I realized they weren't really the same each one of us is unique each one of us has a series of circumstances and experiences that we signed up for. I know, what were you thinking? Next time, read the fine print and the contract in heaven. But for now, we're all here. And we're all experiencing so many new experiences, and some are a little bumpy. And when I was there on the West Coast, and I was standing in the water, and just gazing out, these young boys came up to me, four little boys, and each one of them was so engrossed in what they were doing and carrying. And the older boy sat right down next to me and he dropped the bucket in front of me and he said, oh, do you want anything from my bucket? And before I had a chance to look, I'm expecting he's selling lemonade, candy, cookies. I got excited. I thought, wow, it's snack time. And I looked over to my neighbor, Rosa, who was with me and I said, oh, I guess we're going to buy something. And then I looked into the bucket. And then he described to me all the little shells that were in there. And then there were these little shells that had life in them and they were swimming around. And he said to me that I could make soup with them. I said, well, I don't know how to make that soup. He said, well, you can take them home and you can learn how to make the soup, but you can take anything from my bucket. And so I looked up at the heavens and I thought, wow, it must be a gift. So I thanked the little boy and I dug in the bucket ever so carefully. And as I dug through the bucket, I noticed that everything in that bucket, beautiful green plastic bucket, had life, had its own unique flow. But there was this one shell on the top that was magnificent. And even though I dug around, inside of me, I knew that was my shell. That was the one for me. Because it was so beautiful. But I made sure to notice all the other shells. And then the littlest boy, he was two. He looked to me and he said, are you going to make soup? And I said, well, I don't really think I can make soup here. So I'm going to let you keep those shells. But I would love to take this one. And so he picked up the shell and he put it in my hand and he said, that's the best one. And I said,
said, thank you. It was my gift from the universe. It gave me the opportunity to realize that we don't need someone to come up to us and give us a gift. There are gifts everywhere. We just have to look. We just have to want a gift. It is written in the contract. It's in the fine print. Everything's a gift. And I sat there and we looked at the shell, we laughed, then we thought, well, we have to go to lunch soon because now he gave us an idea that we wanted to eat. So we went ahead and we played in the water a bit more and enjoyed the rest of the morning. And I thought to myself, I need some evidence. You ever ask that question? I need evidence. So I went over to the water. My neighbor decided she was going to film this. If she puts it on Facebook, I'm really not talking to her. And I began to play in the water, but I began to tap the water. And I began to call the mermaids. I began to call the dolphins. I began to call all of the sea life, preferably not the sharks, but I invited them too. I called everybody to come. I call for my angels and I call for my guides and I ask that everybody be fully present for the rest of the day and that they come here with me tonight. And as I tapped that water, I tapped it faster and faster. The ocean began to get more rough and the waves came in with a stronger force. And she came up to me. She said, what are you doing? And I said, shh, I'm calling everybody. I'm commanding the energy in the divine light, and I know that something miraculous is going to happen. And so I began to tap the water harder. And then I called for my ancestors, and I called for my grandmother, and I called for my father, and I called for my spiritual teacher. No, I didn't summon them and wake them. I just called for them. I called to say, listen, I'm here, and I need to know you're here, and I need a sign. Have you done that lately? Have you called for them? Have you said, hey guys, I'm here. I'm here on planet Earth. Are you still with me? So I continue to tap. And then I had that breath that comes through me that lets me know, ah, they're there. And I turned to my neighbor and I said, okay, I'm done. She said, well, what did you do besides steer up the water? I said, we'll see, Rosa. So I already knew that the night before, I didn't go out and play one of my numbers that I knew was coming. I was a little miffed. I was miffed at me. I said, oh, look at you. So in my splashing, I said, guys, bring it back to me. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Give it back to me. I messed up. I'm human. But come on, show me that you hear me. And I'm going to give you the number into the heavens, and I'm going to ask that it be connected with my grandmother. And what do you think came up last night? My grandmother's birthday. You see, they're all there. Tell your spirit guides, we need a deal. We need a sign. We need to know that we're hearing each other. I need evidence now. And I want to know that you're all here. And then thank them. Thank them. But when you call them, stand still for just the moment. Stand still and feel them come in. Feel their energy come and feel them cradle you. Feel that vibration shift. Feel the energy in the room shift. And then don't question it. Trust that you know what you know. Trust that the knowing was always going to give you the answer. And they're going to bring it right to you. But don't go out and push to make it happen. Wait for them to pave the way. It's like the yellow brick road. It's all right there. You just have to follow it. Follow the road. They know what you want. They know what your heart's desire is. They've been watching you all this time. And they've been waiting for you to say, hey, send me a line. I need a leg up. Lift me above this turmoil. Make a shift. Give me proof that you hear me. For some of you, there's manifestations of feathers or butterflies, things that couldn't necessarily happen unless it was orchestrated in such a fashion that the universe made sure you noticed. Well, it's all there. It's all right there for all of you. 
And tonight, here on WBZT, iHeartRadio, WWNN 1470 AM and 95.3, we are dialing up to the spirit guides, calling in the angels, and we're connecting all of us. And those of you on Facebook, hi, we want to hear from you. Let me know that you're connected. Let me know what angel you want to talk to. Did you know they've got different departments? I had a meeting with them not too long ago. They really have a lot of responsibilities. But I heard there's a big layoff plan going on up in the angelic realm. Because not enough of us are calling them in. So call your angels. Tell me what you need to know live on Facebook. And when I pick up that call right here on WBZT on 1-800-889-0227. Then please, ask your question. Let's see who shows up to talk to us. Let's make the connections, you and I. 1-800-889-0267. Our phone lines are open, but we're going to take a minute to hear from our sponsors. And then we're coming right back. And we're going to take call after call after call and Facebook message after Facebook message after Facebook message because you and I were connected. Stay with us, everyone. Do not go away because you know we're going to be right back. Place it on the clouds of days gone by. multicultural array of spiritual products, classes, and healing services in a comfortable and convenient setting, you must visit the Expedito Enlightenment Center in the Habitat Plaza in West Palm Beach. There, you'll find the products, services, and spiritual development classes to help you bridge the gap between you and your spiritual connection. Arrange for your own personal spiritual reading with Sarah Spiritual for spiritual insight. The Expedito Enlightenment Center is located at 4047 Okeechobee Boulevard in the Habitat Plaza. Plaza, West Palm Beach. Call them at 561-682-0955 or online at ExpeditoEnlightenmentCenter.com. For yourself or for a thoughtful gift, there's no better place to visit than the Expedito Enlightenment Center in the Habitat Plaza, Okeechobee Boulevard, West Palm Beach. Call 561-682-0955 or visit them on the web at ExpeditoEnlightenmentCenter.com. Have you ever felt alone, sensing something more is around you, but are unsure how to connect? Do you wonder if your loved ones who are deceased are among you? Sarah Spiritual is a gifted spiritual advisor and medium who can connect you with your loved ones, spirit guides, and ascended beings. Sarah specializes in love, relationships, money, career, health, and healing. She has an uncanny ability to convey the true thoughts and emotions of those around you. For Sarah, life is a spiritual journey, and each situation has a spiritual solution. To contact Sarah for a personal reading, call 561-682-0956 or send an email to sarah at sarahspiritual.com. You can also visit www.sarahspiritual.com for more information. That's 561-682-0956 or sarahspiritual.com. Let Spirit and Sarah raise you up. You're listening to Spiritually Speaking with Sarah, your spiritual advisor and medium. Want to connect to the light within you? Talk to Sarah now and begin your spiritual empowerment. Call Sarah at 561-844-6167 locally or toll free at 1-800-889-0267 nationwide. You can email your questions to Sarah to radio at sarahspiritual.com. Day. 
And we're back here live on WBZTI Heart Radio, WWNN 1470 AM and 95.3. And we're connecting to all of you live here. And we're answering your questions, dialing up to those spirit guides. Hello, everyone on Facebook. Thank you so much for connecting with all of us. And we're going to go to the phone lines. And you know how it goes. As soon as I start taking calls, you have a chance to get in at 1-800-889-0267. Why don't we, for our 390th live show, break a record? Let's take so many calls. Let's see how many I can get done for us all tonight. So if this is the night that you're thinking, I need to call, I need some guidance, I need answers, let's see what spirit has to say, let's see what my angels have to say, don't let tonight pass you by. Make the call. 1-800-889-0267. And I'm going right to the phone lines and... I've got David, and David, he's in West Palm Beach. David, how are you? Good, how are you, Sarah? I'm doing great, David. I'm doing great. How can I assist you tonight? How can your angels and your guides assist you? I'd like to know from my guides if I am in the right path, what I've been trying to do. Um, I feel like I've been making some of the wrong decisions, and... Right now, uh, I'm trying to move some money around and, you know, I'm trying to get another job because I'm not happy with the job I just started. Okay. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. All right, let's so take a look. look. We're going to take a look, all right? First of all, take a breath because the one thing they tell me is that you're very hard on yourself. All right? And, and now you're also learning. You're learning in this job market how to articulate what you desire and how to be sure that the people who are hiring you understand what it is you want. But let's rewind the tape a bit, shall we, David? Let's look at the past employment. The past employment, well, that wasn't making you very happy, was it? No. Okay. Now, peace of mind was not yours. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Now, I know. I know you're saying, universe, hurry up, show me the money. And I understand that... Right now, we're trying to make some choices that are going to shift money and also bring you the abundance that you require from your job. So this new job is an opportunity to regroup. This opportunity is going to give you the opportunity to be promoted, advanced, have more responsibility, or connect with other people and find another job. But in the moment of now, everything is fine. You're anticipating what can happen in the next few months if something doesn't change. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. But in the moment of now, everything is okay, yes? Not perfect, but it's okay. So in the moment correct. of now, we are in gratitude and we trust that what is being presented to us is the stepping stone to what ultimately will make everything unfold perfectly moving forward as we look into this end of the year of 2017. Because you're sitting with your calculator, adding it up and saying, uh-oh, we're going to be in trouble. The minute we say we're going to be in trouble, we bring that energy to us. Now, I've got to tell you, it's, an, it's a natural program re response. Everybody feels that way, David. We've all been there. But it's to take a breath. Are you on the right path? You are on the right path by being here. You made the choice to be here. But the path is not necessarily for you to stay employed doing what you do. I'd like to say the universe tricked you. But don't tell them I told you. They tricked you to bring you here because there's something bigger for you here than just a J-O-B. There's a way of life. There's a way of being. But right now you're going through the turbulence. Trust that it's going to work out. Trust that it's an environment that's going to be conducive for your family, for love, for the relationship that you have. Trust that. You are on the right path. And here's the best part about making a choice. You can always choose to make another choice. And you can choose to pack up and head back where you came, if that's your desire. But at this moment, 
It's time to stick it out for just a bit longer because something's going to come of all this. So you are on the right path. And Archangel Michael okay. is with you. Hey. All right. Archangel Michael is with you. He will help you. Trust this process, David. It'll be fine. All right. Thank you so much for calling. You're welcome. Right. Thank you. God bless you. Bye. Bye. 1-800-889-0267. I'm going right back to the phone lines because we've got a lot of people to reach out to and connect with. And, well, one of them is our dear caller, Alyssa, and she's in Illinois. Alyssa, how can Spirit Hi. and I assist you, honey? What's going on? Well, me and my boyfriend broke up. Yes. So I was wondering if like, we can look at back together or, yeah. We were on an up and down roller coaster for the past three weeks, yes? Yes. Okay. And you made a recognition of an action that you did. You recognized that something you did was maybe not conducive for having a loving, caring, con free lo relationship, yes? You yes. had that experience. And it's not for you to beat yourself up with that. But now we know what we want to change. And Alyssa? it's going to be okay. There is someone else coming. This young man, he used your behavior as an excuse. Listen, everybody has less than perfect moments. We can't always please everybody. No. Well, so I see that how he used my excuse to break up with me. Everyone has said that. He is. And he, yeah. He is. And that's what your spirits are telling me, that he's using it as an excuse. And it's not for you to be hard with yourself. It's for you to truly trust that, you know what? Oh, there's a better guy for me. And someone else is coming. By the end of the summer, I see a cute one. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and remember what I said, girls don't chase boys. So we don't need to control the boys and we don't need to chase them. Just let them be. And the right boy will pop up. Oh, but every single time he always comes back to me. Yes. Do you ever see him coming back to me? You know, and I want you to hear this. I want you to hear this, sweetheart. He he always comes back, but you always let him back. Yes. Okay. Now, do you want to be the person who's thrown out and then picked back up when something else doesn't work? No. You have to love yourself a bit more than that. You want someone who picks you up and says, gee, I want to keep her. I want to do the relationship thing with her. That's what you're looking for. Yes. And at this young age, it's a bit much for them to really want to commit. But we do want someone to really want to be a part of a relationship. So share that experience. I want to be the teenage girl that stays together marriage and never break up and you know what that does happen I can't say that only happens in fairy tales but those happenings are not as regular as the others however if that's your desire then that's what you ask for you ask for the person who's going to be the right vibrational match and for someone to be with you for all your days but then don't just settle pay attention to who you're attracting recognize if they have the behavior that you would want to spend the rest of your life with. That could be quite a few years. Who knows? It could be 60 years. Honey, that's a long time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So careful what you wish for, first of all. So write it down. Yeah. Write down what it is you want. And then while you're looking at what it is you want in a relationship, and I say this to you and everyone listening, look and see, do you bring to the table some of the things you're asking someone else to be with you? We're all different, so nobody's going to be an exact match to someone else. By golly, that would be a little boring. Just trust. Guess, all right? I guess you can say it hurts the most because I have done so much for him that any girl would. And his brother even says that I've, I've done the most. Yes. I and it just hurts because if I could take all that back, it would hurt as much. And you know what? 
thank you so much for saying that out loud. Because Alyssa, I, if I had a dollar every time I heard someone tell me that during a reading, I did so much for them, but they didn't appreciate it. They didn't recognize me. They didn't love me the way I wanted them to love me. It didn't work out the way I wanted. I feel like I gave everything and I got nothing in return. If I got a dollar every time I heard any of those things that represent what you just shared with us, I would be a millionaire. <laughs> because a lot of people do that. But relationships are give and take. And there'll be times where someone is in a better position to give more. In many aspects of relationship. And then, my darling, there are times where you might give more. But there has to be a balance. It's like a seesaw. When it gets a little out of balance, you have to ask yourself, why am I trying so hard? You yeah. shouldn't have to jump through hoops to have someone want to be by your side. They should love you for everything that you are. Even the parts that, well, make them a little crazy. All right, my dear. There is new relationship coming and, well, you predicted it, so I'll give you this one. Yeah, he'll probably pop back. But let's come from a place of power and, and choice and self-love and choose to be open to receive someone who you can have fun and be yourself with. All right, my dear? All right, thank thank you. you so much. You're welcome, honey. God bless you. Have Bye. Have a nice night. Thank you. one 800 And we have to go to Ashley, and she's in Jacksonville. Ashley, how are you tonight? I'm fine, Sarah. How are you? I'm doing great. And what is your question? Um, I wanted to know from my angels and spirit guides. Um, I've just been going through a, just a whole mixture of feelings. And I find myself torn between how to respond or how to react. Okay. So I have here that you feel hurt. You're angry. Yes. You're frustrated. Uh, you're mad at yourself. Uh, you're mad at someone else. Yeah. You are feeling as if things are out of control and you don't know how to bring them back into control. Yes. And you're feeling yeah. very alone and betrayed. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And I have two spirit guides that step up to me. One Indian spirit guide. This Indian spirit guide is, is a very strong warrior energy that stands with you. And he is protecting you. And then I have this very beautiful spirit guide. Uh, she's a dancer. And her energy is somewhat soft and flowing. And she's inviting you to go with the flow, to be in that movement. She says it's a long time since you've had fun. It's a long time since you've gone dancing. It's a, it's a long time since you've just said, hey, what the heck? Everything has been so much in a box. It's time for you to come out of the box and let people be who they're going to be. You can't control them, can you? Let them yeah. be. Let them, you know, my grandmother, God bless her, she had quite a few great things to say to me. And there were two things. If they make a bed, let them sleep in it and never go to bed angry. Two great things to say. Well, I know you're feeling angry and frustrated and you don't have resolution, so go inside of yourself and love yourself more and be centered in yourself, Ashley. And then I want you to look to the partner and send him forgiveness. He knows not that he knows not. He's on his adventure. And for him to take responsibility is difficult, so apparently everything's all your fault. Yes, that's what the memo says. But you know better than that in your analytical mind and when you're still and you notice and you talk to your guides. Now, like our caller before, well, sweetheart, you know he'll be back. Mm -hmm. Is that what you want? You see, now you have a choice. He created an energy that you get to choose. What is it that you want? What would make your heart sing again? Everyone is making choices. And your roads feel blocked. But yet every time you set your mind to something and you make a decision, things start to change, don't they? Mm -hmm. 
If you choose to move forward, things will change. If you choose to stay still and wait, it will be a little uncomfortable. If you choose to say, I want him back, he will come back. Lord Ganesh governs the, the roads, yes? Remover yeah. of obstacles. Clears the way. He steps forward. He's there. He's there with the dancing woman. But I've known Ganesh to do a dance or two in his time, yes? Yes. Very joyous he can be. But I wouldn't want to mess with someone who can just remove an obstacle like that. So, ask him. But ask him to remove the obstacles seen and unseen, my darling. Because it's the obstacles you don't see. There may be an obstacle right within you that needs to be removed or looked at. There's an adjustment that must be made on everyone's part. And these are the adjustments that make all the difference in the world. So that you can attract anything you desire. And you can grow from the experience. As can the individual that you ask about. He'll be back. But what is it you want? You okay. see, that answer is inside. No one can tell you what to do. This is a chance for you to learn about you. This is one of your greatest tests. And this is the opportunity for you to resolve all the abandonment issues and all the issues that made you feel alone. Much like I spoke of when I first opened the show. We're living life, but we're not feeling connected to it and we're feeling alone. It's time to enmesh yourself in everything that surrounds you. From seashells to the breeze, to loving you and realizing that you're a powerful being and whatever you choose not only are you strong enough to create it you've got spirit guide backup and they've got your back trust this process it'll work out perfectly if you let it thank you so much for calling I trust I've been of assistance to you tonight Ashley yes thank you so much Sarah thank you God bless you bye 1-800-889-0267. I've got friends on Facebook, and I just love my friends on Facebook. And we have Perry, and Perry is looking for any job, future, and relationship to come soon. Perry, first of all, let me address your birthday. Your birthday has a very powerful vibration, and what I love about your birthday is when I resolve the numbers and I move them around, they actually, well... They speak to me about my father's birthday, which is 720, and, well, yours is 0702. So we've got some numbers going on. Perhaps you might want to look at 7200 in the cash four, but I'm just saying. Now, back to your question. Any job in the future, you're working on reviving yourself and perfecting yourself in your work skills. So I see that we are making some connections and in the next three months, so that takes me to July, August, and September. In September, I see you in a job that is going to be something in alignment with a future and a career, something that's going to assist you in building your reputation. They're very clear to use the word reputation, pair, and I hope that that makes sense to you. Now, when I look at to the relationship area, I don't see relationship that's steady because there's something about you that although you say you want relationship, you're not quite ready to make that commitment to relationship. So look with inside yourself and see why you're not quite ready for that relationship. And when you get ready, and Spirit Guide tells me that that will be coming to you close to the end of the year, a relationship that seems to have some permanence. And if you have any further questions on Facebook, Perry, just be sure to leave them in the comments below. And after the show, I'm going to pop right back on and continue to explore your questions and give you some further information on that question. Thank you so much, Perry, for asking your question here on Facebook. And I have to say hi to everyone on, on Periscope who's watching too. I want to thank you all for being a part of the show. And I'm going right back to the phone lines. And I've got to take a call from Shari, and Shari, she's in Delray Beach. Shari, how are you? 
I'm doing great, Sarah. How are you? I'm doing wonderfully. And how can Spirit and the Spirit Guides help you tonight? I have some really amazing good things coming into my life, and I'm very excited. But I'm just wondering if there's anything specific that Spirit would like me to know, or if I'm on track with everything. I guess just kind of a general check-in if that's okay that's quite all right and um they also bring in the uh, angels of harmony and music there's a lot of music harmony and healing around you does that make sense to you sure yep mm -hmm. and spirit also tells me that you are um a voice box a voice piece for others yes you speak the truth yes yes uh-huh okay. yep hmm. And I want to call in Archangel Gabriel. He wants to put a pen in your hand. Do you have to write something, yes? Yes, I'm writing a novel. Yes, you are. And it's perfect, my darling. It's perfect. Good. <laughs> you are on track. Hmm. We will have some adjustments. There's a little change in some of the storyline that's going to unfold. But we're not quite at the end of the novel yet, right? Um, I'm in the editing um, piece of it, yeah. Take a look at... I don't know how many chapters, but they're going to chapter five, chapter six. Can you look into there? As you're editing, there may be a better way to phrase something. Seems to be a little juicy there in chapter five and six. Take a look and see what you have. Spirit Guide takes me there. Archangel Gabriel takes me there. Perhaps there's an adjustment in something that might make something flow better, make the message a little more powerful, tell the story a little more clearly. Okay. And you've called upon some people to assist you in the promotion of this book, yes? Yes, that will be the next yes. area I need to look at. Yep. You do, and you're on track. The right people will show up. Uh, I do feel that um, for you, September opens a lot of those doors. Be careful with contracts. I'm not aware of when Mercury goes retrograde, but just be careful of when the contracts come uh, for you to set up some deals with people to assist you in the promotion of this book. Okay. Um, but you are on track. I do see another book coming. Okay. And I do see you teaching and doing some healing, but not traditional healing. Does that make sense to you? Uh, very possibly, yes. Okay, perfect. Kind of combining everything, yes. You are. You are. You're just like one Chinese poo poo platter. You've got everything on the plate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Shari, how did you hear about the show? Um, I'm on your email list, and so I've never um, been able to. Um, participate before, so I was inspired tonight to uh, phone in and, and uh, am enjoying it very much. Thank you so much, and I'm so glad to have you on board. And Sherry, I see you're in Delray. Well, perhaps next Wednesday night you can pop on over to Boca because I'm going to be at Juniors in Boca, okay. and I'd love to see you there at my live radio show and meet you personally and, and uh, hear a little bit more about your book. I'd love to chat with you before the show. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Sarah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Congratulations, and I'm very excited for you. I appreciate it. The extra assurance is always very helpful. But I trust we've been of service to you today? Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Bye. You too. Bye-bye. 1-800-889-0267. We're just breezing right through. And I know we've got people on Facebook, but for those of you who are telling me hi or hey, hey, hi, how are you? Glad to have you on board. And did you hear what I was talking about? I'm going to be in Boca. Yeah, they decided to take me out of the iHeart studio. Lord knows what's going to happen when I pop on out of town. But I will be at Junior's, and that's going to be in Boca the 21st of June, next Wednesday night. I would love to see as many of you in the listening audience come join me. Have a cup of coffee. Let's do cheesecake and have a wonderful time together. I will be giving messages to those of you in the audience as well as technology is going to allow your calls to come in. I'm going to hear the question. I'm going to answer you live on air. I just won't be in the studio. And if you'd like to see how that magic happens, I've got magic people who help me. I kind of have a magic man who just makes it all come together. So I'm excited to be connected to all of you and see you live at juniors in Boca. And that's a 7 to 9 show, but pop in earlier because I would love to do cheesecake and coffee. I probably can't eat more than one piece, but I'll sit there and watch you all eat. So stay with us, everyone. We're going to take a minute to hear from the sponsors. We're going to do the thing called the news, which unfortunately has been rather tragic. Stay centered. Be in love. Be in your inner knowing that all is going to be all right. And trust 
that you are loved and your guides and your angels are with us. They're with all of us. Stay with us, everyone. Do not go away because you know we're going to be right back. For more Spiritually Speaking with Sarah, coming up right after Fox News. Continue the conversation with Sarah Spiritual on Facebook and Periscope. Phone lines are open at 1-800-889-0267 nationwide. at my Expedito Enlightenment Center. My center is at 4047 Okeechobee Boulevard in West Palm Beach. And we are in the Tree of Life Plaza. And the reason why I love being at my center is that my center offers such a beautiful array of products. We have spectacular incense. We have beautiful books up on the shelves that you can choose from. We have all the products that I hand blend. I actually have some of them here. I have my wonderful soulmate collection. Are you looking for a soulmate? Are you looking for someone that you can truly treasure in your heart? I am so excited, so excited for you to share with this bath all your intentions and clear your energy and set forth that which you desire. And wonderful things can happen. It's time, don't you think, for you to have that soulmate? I also have my wonderful bath from Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel, he's the messenger 
Are you looking for evidence? Are you looking for messages? Are you looking for Archangel Gabriel to come into your life? Perhaps you're a writer and you need to write that book. I would love to help you write that book by giving you some energetic boost and assisting you and opening up your path to Archangel Gabriel. I also have my spectacular dream collection. This dream bath, this wonderful dream oil I have here, and my dream mist are designed to bring about spectacular dreams and to help you remember. Are you one of those people who gets messages in your dreams? Well, guess what? This dream spray is going to assist you on that. And the wonderful part of all that is that you're going to be in the sacred space in this protected bubble and you're going to be in the higher realms and you're going to retain and you're going to sleep peacefully. Maybe you don't have the best night's sleep. Well, a couple of little sprays. Let's see. Oh, there we go. That's going to create the energy. And it smells spectacular. The aroma just touches your heart and it really makes you feel that serenity, the peace of God, the spectacular energy of knowing that you are one with the creator. You know, every Wednesday night, I have a radio show and I am coming up on my eighth year anniversary. I can't believe it. Time is flying. But what I love about the radio show is getting to know all of you getting to share in all of your experiences. And I've been on air for eight years, since 2009. And the very best part of this experience is that heart to heart, soul to soul, we've been talking, we've been sharing, we've been growing. The whole show has grown and together we have all transformed. And if you haven't listened to the radio show yet, I welcome you to join us from seven to 9 p.m every Wednesday night, Eastern Standard Time, and join me here live on Facebook. You can hear me on WBZT from 7 to 9 p.m. You can also now hear me on WWNN 1470 AM and 95.3 FM. I'm excited to share this expansion with all of you, and I'm so excited that each one of us gets to connect all across the nation. And now because of Facebook, well, beyond our borders, all across the world, you and I, and I know I have clients all across the world. And so I'm happy that you're going to be able to join us on a national radio show that now has an opportunity to be international and we can all share the experience. And what do we talk about on Spiritually Speaking with Sarah on this radio show every Wednesday night? What have I been talking about for the past eight years? Well, everything. Your questions, your comments, they're most important. But Spirit talks about spirituality, empowerment. We talk about ways to transform your life. We explore love, finances. We explore reincarnation, karma. We even explore that sense of feeling stuck and wanting to make a difference and shift in your life and not really knowing how to do that. We navigate life together. And it's such a sense of community that if you're looking for that sense of community, if you're looking for that connectivity, and if you're perhaps maybe not brave enough to pick up that phone and make the call, I can assure you that someone else's question is going to be the answer to your question. Because don't we all have some of the same questions? Are we all learning to navigate experiences? Haven't we all had a broken heart? Haven't we wished for something and we're not sure why God didn't answer? Well, patience, it all comes together perfectly. And I'm excited to share the wisdom, the teachings of spirit, and to give you those messages every Wednesday night from seven to 9 p.m., you and I, connected all across the planet, soul to soul, heart to heart, spiritually speaking with me, Sarah, and we get to understand each other. We get to know that everyone goes through the same thing. And by the way, I would put my pants on or my pantyhose the same way you do, one foot at a time. There's no getting around some things. Life has a way of happening. And isn't it great to know that you've got support? 
Isn't it great to know you've got love? Isn't it great to know we've got each other? I've had the opportunity to Welcome back to the second hour of Spiritually Speaking with Sarah. Another interactive hour of uplifting and empowering spiritual discussions to transform your life. A gifted spiritual advisor, coach, and medium, Sarah Spiritual will assist you to connect with the light within and transcend beyond the limits of all possible experience and knowledge. Spiritually Speaking with Sarah is presented by the Expedito Enlightenment Center in the Tree of Life Plaza in West Palm Beach. For the next hour, listen, call in, and watch Sarah Spiritual live on Periscope and Facebook and share the love and light. Yes, indeed, and we are live here on WBZT, and I hope if you were on WWNN and 95.3, you just popped on over and stayed with us on WBZT, iHeartRadio, and we're answering all your questions, and if you're just joining us, we are connecting to the angels and the spirit guides, and we're seeing what's going on for you. And if you're on Facebook, pop up your question, and if you want to call in, the number is 1-800-889-0267. I'm committed answering as many questions as possible. We are going up to the phone lines, and... I'm going to Myra, and she's in North Palm Beach. Myra, how are you tonight? Good, Sarah. How are you? I'm doing great. How can I assist you? And the spirit guides have messages for you. What would you like to know? I, I just had a feeling today that I needed to call you and ask you what my angel has been trying to tell me because I guess I'm not getting it. So. Hmm. You've been opening up more and more to your spiritual spirituality, your spiritual knowing, correct? Yes. Okay. And sometimes you, they tell me you're second guessing what you think you know. Is that also correct? Yes, it is. Okay. Trust the knowing. And there's a dissatisfaction in career right now. Is that correct? Yes. And you're feeling like you need to go, but you don't know where to go, so you don't know what to do. You're feeling stuck, yes? Yes, I am. Hmm. Ah, you ready to jump? <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, it's almost time to jump ship. Are you ready to jump? Yeah. Uh, I, you're afraid. Yeah. There goes my second guessing myself. <laughs> yes, you're afraid. Okay, fear. False evidence appearing real. Now, I understand that security is critical for you. I understand that where you are at this point in your life, you want to be sure that you make the right next choice. There's nothing wrong with that. But trust that there's another opportunity for you in a different work than what you're currently doing. And trust that at this moment in time, understanding yourself more and loving yourself more is going to be the key to discovering what's going to bring you joy. And you're not ready to leave, although they're a little out of whack over there. Yes, where you work? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Spirit is being real funny. They're saying cray-cray. They're a little cray-cray. They're crazy over there? <laughs> yeah. Okay. They're just running around with their heads cut off is how I see it. So look at it this way. You know you don't want to do that much longer, correct? Yeah. So in the moment of now, you're grateful for the opportunity. And I say that 
because so many times when we tell the universe, I don't want to do this, this isn't where I want to be, I'm not happy, they basically talk to the other guides and say, someone get the hook, pull them out. And then we go into full panic because we're not ready for them to have gotten the hook. Wait, I wasn't ready, but you said you wanted out. So trust that in this moment you're here. But I see that in 2018, end of this year, November, December, January, February, so end of this year into 2018, you're ready to make a shift. Now, are they reorging or something where you are? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. Oh, yeah, I got moving pieces. They're like, oh, you know, yeah. round and round we go, where we stop. Nobody knows. So now we have to sit back and go, phew, they didn't move me. But ask the <laughs> universe for what you want. Maybe they'll yeah. make a position for you. Do you know every job I ever had, they didn't have the job I ended up having? They made a position for me. I was like, no, don't like that, don't like that, don't like that. No, I want this. And they would make a job for me. Ask the universe for them to, if you feel you could stay there, but doing something else, ask them to make a job for you. Why not? That's what your angels are for. Okay. Archangel Uriel is with you, bringing you enlightenment and strength. Sometimes you feel like you're in the darkness and alone, yes? Yes, I do. Yes. I, try and I don't talk too much to anybody about my things. Oh, yeah. I understand. But you're also opening up in your spiritual gifts. And you're learning so right. much about you. Trust that. Trust the learning that you're having at this moment. Trust the experience. I see new opportunities coming for you. Write down the dream job. What is it you would love to do? Okay. And do you have a wish box? Yes, I do. <laughs> you're <laughs> so do. good. Good. <laughs> have a wish box and put it in the wish box. But a wish is not really a wish. It's a command. We are creating it. You're collaborating with the universe. They're going to do that for you. Okay. All right. I do hope I see you at some of my classes and perhaps you'll be joining us on our weekend retreat. Okay. Thank you so much. You're have welcome. a great night. You too. Bye. Bye. 1-800-889-0267. And we have Markeisha. And Markeisha, she wants to know if uh, her angels have a message for her. Well, first of all, Spirit is talking about uh, you going through a rebirth within yourself, Markeisha. They talk to me about discovering yourself and finding your, your happiness and, and learning to trust that things are the way they are for a reason at this moment. They talk about the past three months have been very uncomfortable, but then they talk about new exciting happenings in the family. They talk about love. They talk about closeness in relationship, and they talk about you having your own company, your own business, and really putting it to work. But they tell me that right now you're getting ready to nest and have a sense of family and and really share the energy of love enjoy this energy now and in 2018 your angels want you to know that you are going to have your own business uh, that's going to be the best path for you and your husband has a shift and a change for his work as well it's not always going to be this challenging and difficult trust my dear it's all about to change the next six weeks are going to bring new opportunities and then you're going to feel closer in your family as well thank you so much for your question on facebook your guards and your guides and your angels they're all with you honey and hmm, archangel Raphael is with you healing you emotionally and protecting you in the area of your physicality as well thank you so much and we're going to go right back to the phone lines. I've got phone lines of 1-800-889-0267. You know how it works. I take a call. Lines start to open up. 1-800-889-0267. And I've got to go to Jim. And Jim, he's in Pompano. Jim, how are you? How are you doing? I'm fine. And yourself? I'm doing great, Jim. And thank you so much for holding you were on there for a while. So first, I want to thank you for doing that. And Jim, how can Spirit and I assist you? Uh, I've been going through so much uh, for the last year, you know, like my business being illegally shut down, uh, having to move from 
a wonderful place on the beach and, you know, fighting to find a place that I can get in with my dog. I can rent with my dog and then my dog dies a month and a half after mm. car accident, major car accident. And I'm wondering um, uh, what the spirits have in store for me. When is my financial picture going to change? Okay. Well, let's take and a look. Let's take a look. Should I be, uh, you know, yes, God has given me a skill and that he's blessed me with. Uh, where should I go? Which direction should I go? Should I go into helping others or should I just keep running, my, trying to, uh, you know, improve and, and get my business back together? Okay. I hear you. So when I first connected with you, the first thing Spirit gave me is work and turmoil. So thank you for all that clarification here. But I've got you having problems with work, and I have you in turmoil, inner turmoil and external turmoil. Spirit tells me that you feel like you got thrown for a loop, thrown to the curb, and you don't even know what happened. It's almost like you don't even know how any of this went wrong. Well, first of all, the business, the business, there was a lot of hmm, animosity in the neighboring area or in the town. So there were problems with paperwork. Yes, they called it on a paperwork technicality. No, they just illegally changed the lock. Ah, but what was the paper? You see, did they, did they serve you with the paper? No. Okay. They didn't serve me with a three-day notice, okay, a 15-day so termination, me. or an eviction. Right. But Jim, hear me. They, there's a paperwork technicality that they closed you down with. So there is a paper. They didn't serve you the paper. That's your technicality. All right. They talk about the paper. So they didn't produce the paper. Do you find a lawyer to to help you? Well, but let me tell you, you this now, go because ahead, go ahead. no, because and also please remember we're on the show and you ask like three questions at once. So I'm okay. I'm, I'm going to go through them quickly so that you can understand because everything that we're looking into really requires an entire reading because it's very complicated. So even if you don't understand all the details I'm going to spew out here to you that Spirit's talking to me about, I want you to just jot them down. So there's a technicality with the paperwork. You confirm that. You're in this turmoil because there are people that didn't want you to carry on what you were doing in your business. And you are there to help people in your life. Your life is of service. You are a, yeah. a healer and you are also responsible for making sure that people receive and get the healing that they need. Does that make sense to you? A lot of sense. You're the person who's going to shake things up and show everyone a different way to have better health. This is true, yes? Yes. Okay. So, honey, not everybody likes that. They don't like people who shake it up. They don't like people who are ahead of the curve. They don't like that. So what you have to do is just keep being you. And when they close a the door, then that's fine. You can choose to open the other door, but they're going to continue to make it difficult. So you know what you do? You go around them, you go above them, you go under them, you do something else. But you stick to the purpose and the passion that fuels you, and that is to show people a different way, a better way to be healthy, a better way to be healed, a better way to be in alignment. And don't lose yourself in the things of the world that are trying to suck you in with the conditions and the problems and man-made rules and limitations that are not part of your dynamic, not part of your spiritual picture. Every time you've ever set yourself to do something, you have always been able to do it. Therefore, everything you choose to do is going to unfold perfectly. So you hit a snafu, go ahead, get a lawyer, make them accountable, but don't count on reopening the business, redesign, redefine the business and pop up somewhere else and continue on your path. Now, the accident was the opportunity for you to stop and say, guess what? Life is short. Life is short, and we do need to do what we came here to do. It's to give you a revived sense of purpose and a, oh, thank you, God, I am still alive to breathe and tell the story. The loss of the dog, 
that was untimely but it was also for you to understand again life is precious and we only have one breath of life and in this moment of now this is all we have it is for you to accomplish and do everything that you set out to do in this moment and trust that process and do not stand against man trust that god's going to pave the way and you will be the voice box and the universe, your guides and your angels are going to find it. There is new work, there is new opportunity, there is a new opening, a new you in the month of October. Between now and then, you're going to network and create a whole new definition of that which you call business, that which you call career, that which you call your mission. And I also see you writing a protocol, something that is necessary for people to do to be of better health and ways that they can seek and receive that which they need that is difficult to get anywhere else, but you know how to get it done. This makes sense to you? I believe so. Okay. Well, this is live on Facebook. You'll be able to watch it and then hear it back, but I had to say it the way Spirit gave it to me, and I won't be able to repeat it because they just came right through me with a firmness and a distinct instructions as to how you're going to navigate this. But do get a lawyer and do impose back to those which shut you down some accountability and go ahead and reinvent yourself and you're going to be laughing. All right, my dear. Thank you so much for calling, Jim. And how did you hear about the show? I just happened to go on uh, 1470 and they were talking about the spirit and uh, the angels and... I said, I'm, you know, this is what I want to hear. And then I heard about you being in Boca on Monday. A uh, Wednesday so the 21st. I'm going to my fiance in there with me on Monday. Okay, uh, it's, let now, me correct you. Did you say you? that I could go back on Facebook? Yes. And, and would this be, re be able to be replayed? Yes, go to Sarah Spiritual on Facebook. Uh-huh. And like the page, please. And you can see it live once we're done with the show. And Jim, it is... Wednesday, June 21st from 7 to 9 is the live radio show. Please come before that at Bo in Boca at Junior's. I would okay. love to meet you personally and meet your fiance. And um, let's have a grand old time on air, okay? Okay. Thank you Wednesday, so much. Wednesday, June 21st, Boca Junior's. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Bye. 1-800-889-0267. Oh my goodness, Spirit gave me quite the mouthful with that. Poor Jim. His head's probably reeling. I know mine is. But I need to go to Facebook. Let's see if I can focus long enough to read this question. All right. Hmm. Let's take a look at this because Miss Aline feels like she's trying to stay positive, but... This is interesting because, Miss Aline, first of all, I'm going to tell you that you're not alone. I seem to have this crazy amount of individuals who are coming to me and saying they feel like there's a lot of negative energy, a lot of forces coming against them, and as if they're being attacked from every corner. First of all, no one does unto you that which you do not allow. So, shield up. Pray up, summon Archangel Michael. But I do understand that you feel that people are turning their back on you. People are talking. I see people gossiping. I feel as if people are not holding that energy of love and light. I even see betrayal. So you're feeling as if everyone has come against you. Well, welcome to the path of Jesus, right? Then you know you're really going to get somewhere. Because when we feel as if everyone has come against us, it's for us to go inside, Miss Aline. For you to go inside and for you to trust. Trust that everything you need to know is right there. And that you're always protected and that your guides and your angels are with you. I also see Miss Aline, a woman who stands above you. She stands above you as if she is the grandmother figure, and she is looking out for you. They describe her as the caretaker, the matriarch of the family, and she is with you as well. You are not alone. There is someone who stirred up a problem for you, someone who created a problem, uh, gossipy, and created this ripple effect. This is going to pass. Pray, Miss Aline, the 23rd Psalm. Pray Psalm 57, and pray Psalm 14, and pray Psalm 13, 23, 57, 14, and 13. Those are the Psalms that are going to shake it up, just like the song. And they're going to be sure to just kick off your energy. 
Stay true. Know that you do not walk alone. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Trust that, my dear. It's going to change. You'll see. Great opportunities coming for you. Thank you so much, Miss Aline, for your Facebook question. I love my Facebook people. Thank you so much. Hey, Periscope, don't feel lonely. I've got to go back to the phone lines now at 1 800 889 And I'm popping up to, hmm, where do I need to go? I need to go to Jenny. And Jenny, she's in Fort Lauderdale. Jenny, how are you tonight? I'm fine. How are you, Sarah? I'm doing great, Jenny. Good to hear from you. <laughs> I great want energy. to know what Spirit is saying about my relationship area, and I've been praying for a promotion on my job. Mm -hmm. Am I going to get it soon? Jenny. Yes? The relationship has been in a bit of a roller coaster, yes? Mm. Well, look, Coaster. Hmm. Now, sit and be still. There's problems with the other individual. What is their birthday, please? The other individual? In the relationship. There is no other one. Who was the person who created the roller coaster in your last relationship then? There's, who were you with in your last relationship? 125... Um, okay. okay. That was a big disruption, yes? It turned yes. into a roller coaster ride. Yes. And you got thrown from the, from the car. Yes? Yes. Okay. We're still healing from that. And this left a bitter taste in your mouth, yes? There's problems and energy coming from that experience, from the other person. Spirit says, be still in relationship. Be still. It's not time yet. When I first connected into this energy, the first thing I see is someone who is cold, manipulating, and calculating. Does that make sense? Mm, I'm not sure. Okay. There was a lot of untruths in this relationship, yes? Yes. Well, did you think it was just like, hey, I'm going to just make up a lie, or they planned it? Hmm. Okay. No, I don't think it's... Okay. There was other, other negative energy that might have interfered with that. Yes, but everyone has free will, okay? Yes. Okay. So, and I'm going to say this to you and everyone. A lot of times there'll be extenuating circumstances. There'll be things that influence our energy and try to influence our thoughts and our emotions. It could be something going on with us, something done unto us, so many possibilities of what could go on. But ultimately, the choice lies in you. Remember that. Okay? The choice lies with them. So just trust that. But as far as work is concerned, they're not set to make the movement up in promotion yet. Is that correct? Right. They're looking at something in the budget something in the positioning with the other people because they're moving two people. Do, does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, I have pieces of a puzzle being moved and there is a supervisor who stands above you. Yes. And they have to sign off on it. Yes. Yes. And they are aware that you want the position. Yes. Yes. But then there's, they give me this word. I don't know if this is the word in your company, a director above the supervisor. Who's the person above that person? They have to approve your position, yes? Yes. Okay. So we need to make sure that the director is aware because I feel as if the supervisor has not quite spoken as loudly as we might like to be sure that this comes through with ease and grace, yes? Okay. All right. There's someone else's hat in the ring for the position. You know what I mean by that, yes? Yes. Okay. So just whisper softly, hi, I'm in for the position. This is where I'd love to be. What do I need to do to be sure that I'm considered? Yes? Okay. Make sure you have that candid conversation. Okay. 
Because your supervisor has alluded to the fact that it is supposed to be you, yes? Yes. Okay. So ask, is there anything I need to do? Are the people in the organization aware that I would love this promotion and that I have so much to bring to the table? Toot your own horn very gently. Yes? Yes. Okay. They're supposed to be making a decision. July seems to be an important month for the company. I guess they're closing out the fiscal year? Uh, September it closes out. The okay. But in July they're making a decision. Okay? So that's when their things are going to start to move in that direction. Okay. So, all right. Keep me posted in the loop. You have a lot of angels and guides with you. And I also see the energy of the Blessed Mothers around you as well, nurturing you. All right. So as uh, the Beatles would say, just let it be. Okay? Okay. All right, honey. God bless Thank you. you. Thank you so much for calling. Bye. 1-800-889-0267. We're going to take a minute to hear from our sponsors, and then I'm going right back to the phone line. So if you're on hold, please stay with us. And if you haven't picked up the phone, join us, because we're going to take as many calls as we can in this last half hour of the show. And if you're on Facebook, give me a question. Let's talk to your guide. Let's talk to your angels. Let's connect. Stay with us, everyone. Do not go away, because you know. We're going to be right back. Of days gone by. For the most extensive multicultural array of spiritual products, classes, and healing services in a comfortable and convenient setting, you must visit the Expedito Enlightenment Center in the Habitat Plaza in West Palm Beach. There, you'll find the products, services, and spiritual development classes to help you bridge the gap between you and your spiritual connection. Arrange for your own personal spiritual reading with Sarah Spiritual for spiritual insight. The Expedito Enlightenment Center is located at 4047 Okeechobee Boulevard in the Habitat Plaza, West Palm Beach. Call them at 561-682-0955 or online at expeditoenlightenmentcenter.com. For yourself or for a thoughtful gift, there's no better place to visit than the Expedito Enlightenment Center in the Habitat Plaza, Okeechobee Boulevard, West Palm Beach. Call 561-682-0955 or visit them on the web at expeditoenlightenmentcenter.com. Have you ever felt alone, sensing something more is around you, but are unsure how to connect? Do you wonder if your loved ones who are deceased are among you? Sarah Spiritual is a gifted spiritual advisor and medium who can connect you with your loved ones, spirit guides, and ascended beings. Sarah specializes in love, relationships, money, career, health, and healing. She has an uncanny ability to convey the true thoughts and emotions of those around you. For Sarah, life is a spiritual journey, and each situation has a spiritual solution. To contact Sarah for a personal reading, call 561-682-0956 or send an email to sarah at sarahspiritual.com. You can also visit www.sarahspiritual.com for more information. That's 561-682-0956 or sarahspiritual.com. Let Spirit and Sarah raise you up. You're listening to Spiritually Speaking with Sarah, your spiritual advisor and medium. Want to connect to the light within you? Talk to Sarah now and begin your spiritual empowerment. Call Sarah at 561-844-6167 locally or toll free at 1-800-889-0267 nationwide. You can email your questions to Sarah to radio at sarahspiritual.com. Bye. 
and we are back here live on WBZT and we're spiritually speaking to all of you and calling up to your angels. Hi Facebook, what are your questions for me? And I'm going to the phone lines while we type those questions up and I've got to go to Jacqueline and Jacqueline, she's in West Palm Beach. Jackie, how are you? I'm good, Sarah. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. So how can Spirit and I and the angels help you? Um, I just want to make sure that I'm doing the right things, or I should say asking the right way as far as to increase my financial abundance. You're speaking it into existence, yes? You're not just asking, yes? Correct. Okay. You know, tomorrow I have a candle class at the Expedito Enlightenment Center. Mm -hmm. So if you can pop in, that would be great, because we have some wonderful things we do with candles. Okay. That's great so that we can um, connect and have that wonderful feeling of being one. So as we, you connect to the spirit guides, and do you light a candle when you're asking for finances? Yes, I did purchase the one that you have in the store. Actually. Okay, great. And are you writing down what you need? Yes. Okay. So you're going to write, I am blessed beyond measure, and the amount is and then write it down. Okay. All right. And it's going to come with an increase of work. There's go it's going to come from an unexpected source. Whatever you want it to, to say, that's what you want. Does that make sense to you? What do you mean, whatever I say? Do you want to play? See, I used to pray to win the lottery. Okay. So they would let me win the lottery. Oh, You're I so good to me. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I Well, that's what I did at the beach yesterday, guys. I tap. They're looking at me like I'm crazy here. What do you think I was doing tapping in the ocean the other day? I was like, last night, I was like, come on, show me the money. They showed me the money. So I used to ask for the universe to bless me through games of chance, okay. through my work in advancement and raise and pay, mm -hmm. or a new job opportunity. I used to ask for the universe to bring me gifts and abundance in unexpected ways so the universe would give me gifts like yesterday i got a shell now that may seem small when we're asking for needs but it's the universe's way of saying look all of this is here for you and being in gratitude so yes you are asking in the right way and write down and be more specific in what you're looking for because you're trying to make something happen, is that correct? Yes. Yes. In other words, I need it for a reason. It's not. I know that. Hey, I know. I that. want it. I know that. <laughs> you know, if we were in New Jersey, I'd tell you to go to Route Three, where the uh, monastery is, and go to the Jesus statue because that's the place I got everything done. Huh? I would pray there, and I'd be like, I need money for my son's school. Poof, it would happen. Um, that was my favorite place, and we actually back in the day could leave a, a lit candle. But then the people who lived above on the, the community, they didn't want that happening. They lived next to the monastery. But that was the best place to go. So find a very special place to you where you have the stillness and the quiet and ask for them to give it because you're not necessarily even doing it for yourself. So that makes it even more wonderful. Yes? Right. Oh, yeah. Yes. So I know they told me. <laughs> So go ahead and give it out to the universe and say, you know the desire, you know the reason. Bring me what I need to accomplish this because I am open to receive it and I will pass it forward. That was my favorite part was to pray for something I needed for my son because it was guaranteed it was coming. <laughs> so now he's older. I'm like, oh, shoot, what do you need? He's like, I don't need anything. I'm like, oh, great. That means I'm not getting anything. <laughs> but I've since learned to work around that. So you can you can do it. You'll pull it off. And they tell me in the nick of time. Okay. Because you have a short window of what you're trying to accomplish, yes? I, yes. Yeah, yeah. And don't be afraid. Sometimes our pride gets in the way. Don't be afraid to ask someone for assistance. Uh-huh. Okay, don't be afraid. Okay. I know when we're independent, we don't like to ask for help. Uh-huh. But ask, I'm putting this together and I need to get to this in order to accomplish this for so-and-so. Is there any reason why you couldn't help me? And since people like to say no, 
the first word out of their mouth is no. Is there any reason why? No, there's no reason why. I'd love to help you. How can I help you? I have a question. When you say write things down, does that mean we, we write it down once and we just read over it, or we write it down every time? I think they get the memo on the first take. Okay. okay. Just write it down once. Okay. And Thanks. by writing it down, Jackie, it's, it's almost as if I'm releasing it. Okay. I'm writing it down and I'm putting it there so it's already, it's a contract. It's a contract between me and the universe. And they have to live up to their bargain. My bargain was, hey, this is what I need. And you said all my needs and desires would be met, so therefore this is what I need. Okay. And I trust the process. Okay. And, you know, you have a timeline, so tell them expeditiously, please. <laughs> you know, because sometimes I found they're a little slow on the corner, so I have to tell them to speed it up. All right. And sometimes I'd like to watch you squirm and see how much you trust. Yes. Our spirit guides have a sense of humor. <laughs> they don't really have personalities like we do here on Earth, but sometimes they get a little a little interesting. Uh -huh. Yeah, mine like to drive me crazy. So so just trust that they're going to come through for you, sweetheart. All right? I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Love to see you at the Expedito Enlightenment Center if you can tomorrow night. Love to see you at class. All right? At what time does it start? Huh? 7.30. 7.30? Yes. Magic of candles. I, I always love to go into your store. It's such a peaceful place. If I could hang there, out there all day, I would. <laughs> yeah, well, I get to hang there, and we always let people just walk through. You know, that's the best part. People are like, oh, I just came to be in the energy. Yes. Because it's you feel the presence of God. It's palpable. So yes. thank you so much. God no bless problem. you. Take care, and thank you for everything you do. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. 1-800-889-0267. I think I've got to go to Facebook. I've got questions on Facebook. Let's see here. Ah, Tia, let's see. Evening wanting to know what the angels have to say to my husband and I regarding our finances and move. Time to move. We want to move. We've been wanting to move for the past... They go back to the number four. They take me to the month of April. Uh, Tia, the finances have been spotty. I get the sense that the money has not been flowing in the way we need it to be uh, for your husband and for you, but primarily the husband energy doesn't seem to have the flow that he'd like. Um, we want to move. Things are not in place for the move. I see that we have to create a different stream of revenue or get another job or something else to put it together. I'm also seeing for you, Tia, that there's some business idea. There's something that you want to put together, Tia, for business. That's something for you to give consideration to. They're talking to me about something coming up in August. So I'm not sure when you're ending one thing to make the move, but Spirit is talking to me about things being conducive for move in August on the track that you're on. So thank you so much, Tia, for your Facebook question. If you need any other guidance, any other assistance, Tia, on this move so that I can assist you in facilitating it and sprinkling fairy dust so that we could get that money that we need to move, then let me know on Facebook. Thank you so much. 1-800-889-0267. And I've got to go to Connie. And Connie, she's in Boynton Beach. Connie, how are you tonight? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Connie. I'm doing great. And Connie, I hope you see me next week at Junior's in Boca. Yes, I will. I look forward to having you pop over there and come see me. The show will be from 7 to 9. Okay. And, Connie, what's your question for me tonight? Well, I would like to know, was, I mean, could the angels tell you anything that's happening now when my husband's situation that he's in? Could you tell me anything that's going to happen? What's your husband's uh, birthday? December 4th, 1967. Okay. And Connie, who in the household is sick? They're talking to me about someone suffering with sickness, yes? Who's sick? My husband is in the hospital now, okay. intensive care unit. Okay. Um, this illness is is more than one thing, correct? Yes. Okay. Multiple, uh, they talk to me about... Hmm. Heart, lungs, organs, yes? Things are yes. not working right, fu not functioning, yes? Correct. Okay. 
There was also an infection, yes? Yes. Okay. This infection has done a quite a bit of damage to his body. You are aware of this, yes, Connie? Yes, I am. Okay. Let's do something right here and now, Connie, because I feel compelled. Can I have your husband's first name, please? Raymond. Okay. So in this moment of now, I'm going to summon the angels. Hmm. I summon Archangel Michael. I call to the angel Raphael, and in this moment of now, I ask that Archangel Raphael send healing. He sent healing to Raymond, and that Raymond will receive this healing in this moment. And in this moment now, I take the light of healing, and I take it from the top of his head, and I infuse it in his head, and I bring it down, and as I bring it down through the back of his neck, I bring it into the chest area, and then as I infuse the chest, I infuse the heart and the lungs, and they are rejoined and reviberated. And in this revival of this energy, in this moment of now, in this healing, I infuse it with the divine light and divine love and restore it for the original perfection. I also go to the muscles, the muscles that are weak and torn, and I restore their elasticity and their strength, and I go to the bones, and I make the legs strong so that he can be in the strength of the a body, the physical body is restored to its strength. And in this moment, as I clear with Archangel Raphael, I cut away the cords. And as I cut those cords, I cut the cords of the energies that have brought him down. And I cut the cords of the choices of the things that he has done in his life that has brought upon some of this illness and this misalignment in his physical body. Does this make sense to you, Connie? Yes, ma'am. All right. And as I clear this in this moment of now, I ask for divine healing, divine forgiveness, divine love, divine perfection that is restored to Raymond here and now. And we're going to send the healing angels to surround him. And as I surround him, they begin to stand at the corners. And I have Archangel Gabriel. I have Raphael. I have Michael. And I have Archangel Uriel. And his four corners are covered in this moment of now. And I call for the winds of the north and the winds of the south, the winds of the east. And as I summon those energies, they stand beside him and they clear the energy, cutting and clearing, cutting and clearing, infusing with light in this moment of now. And as I send this to his bed, I leave it there. And I ask that all that is can be done is done and he is restored to perfection. And therefore it is. This has been a rough, rough time for your husband. And they tell me, Connie, that he is very, very tired. This is true. Yes. Oh, yes, he is. Okay. And the throat, there's something in the throat, Connie? Yes. Okay. So he can't really talk to you the way he would like to. Yes. Correct. Okay. So speak and hear him, and I will yes. continue to pray for him, Connie, and you keep me in the loop. All right, my dear? I will. I have another question because he got something coming up next month mm -hmm. on his um, legal procedures. I'd like to know if you see anything, if the angels could tell you anything about that. And what are they talking to me about money as well? I don't know because he don't have any. I understand, but there's some money that's supposed to come to you too, okay? Oh. All right. Um, the Spirit tells me the legal proceedings are the least of your worries right now. Yes, it is. Okay. So we're going to just trust that that gets pushed away for now. Okay. All right, because the legal proceedings require accountability. Is this true? Yeah. Okay. Then let's focus on the health and the healing, yes? Yeah. All right, Connie, thank you so much for calling. How did you hear about the show, Connie? I follow you all the time on Facebook. Okay. Thank you for following me, Connie, on Facebook. And when you can, if you can, come to Junior's on the 21st. I'd love to I see you there. there. All right, honey, God bless you and thank your husband. You. Bye. Bye. One eight hundred eight eight nine zero two six seven. I've got to go to Michigan. I wonder what the weather's like in Michigan. Hey, Jill, how are you? Um, I'm pretty good, Sarah. It's pretty pleasant at the minute. It was really warm yesterday. I think we were warmer than you were. Really? Well, that's yes. that's interesting. That's something for Michigan to brag about. Let me tell you. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> yeah, it was it was quite warm. It can be very warm here. It's, it's it's more humid than Florida, if you can believe that. I do, I do. But it's the chilly days that don't really want Sarah Spiritual, who doesn't own closed toe shoes, to be there. So, <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> so, Jill, how can oh. Spirit and I assist you? Well, um, I have, first of all, I have a trip coming up, and I'm a little unsure about it. I have to go to Kansas to pick up some horses. Yes. Um, and I've kind of started a business, and it's it's going, but I, I, I keep running into blocks, and I wonder if there's something. I mean, I try. I live in gratitude. I, you taught me so much, Sarah. I can't sit down and go through all the things in my life, even when I'm really sad, and I, like, 
I'm sensing a loss of my mother and things like that. I can't be ungrateful and I can't really be unhappy or feel bad because I've had so much and my life has really been that good. It's been a journey and your yes. life has been that good. It has been that good and actually all of our lives have been that good. It's just seizing those moments and, and recognizing them for the beauty that they are. Um, Jill, why are they talking to me about two horses? Are there two uh, horses that you're moving or picking up? Four. Okay. So there's something with the two horses. There was one born that there was, that I bought a Connemara mare and it was pregnant and apparently it had a mule. And I said to the people that I didn't think I should move it and I wasn't thrilled about the idea of it being a mule. Okay. And the woman got really angry at me. So that's what the two horses is about. Okay. All right, so they, because they're talking to me about those two horses, so I just need clarification. Um, you know, everything's about timing here in this movement yes. of the horses. And you're moving them from Kansas to Michigan? Yes. Okay. Everything's not set for you in Michigan for them to be received? Um, no. Not completely no. yet, no. but no. it won't take much. Won't take much. Get everything in order, check and double check. Um, you're planning to make this trip. Uh, at the end of this month, June 27th, 28th? I was actually, I have to go before then. She wants them gone by um, next week. Hmm. Okay. The pushing is, is a bit of the issue here. The pushing is a bit of the issue. All right. So I know we have to honor the agreement with the woman. Um, there'll be safe travel for you. Archangel Michael will be with you. Just make sure, this is interesting, when you latch on the trailer, when you hook it on, just make sure everything's in alignment. Make sure all every the tires, everything's in place. Okay. All right. And prepare okay, now. Okay. There, there won't be any more conflict with the woman. The woman is difficult. Yes. So send her the violet ray. Consume all the energies that are misaligned, and ask for a peaceful experience and be in the moment of now and in the moment of love, and okay. send her love and trust it'll okay. be okay and you don't hear anything from my mom huh i wasn't able to establish a connection in this short time i would love that opportunity if we began the conversation so with that another time and what about my business do you do, does spirit have any advice you don't have the right people assisting you <laughs> yes yeah. okay so clean house and it'll work. Trust okay, them. well, I feel like two of them are good. Well, you know what you know, but you don't have the right people working with you. So make the change, make the okay. changes, and just trust that so that everything okay. can come Can I together. call the store and set up an appointment to speak with you? Because it'll probably have to be by phone. I don't have internet out here. We're lucky we have phone service. Oh, oh Lord, where are you? Okay. I'm in Milan, Michigan, just outside Ann Arbor. All right. Well, then, yes, we can do that by phone. I do phone sessions, as you know, all the time. So I most likely will be connecting with you after you return with the horses based on scheduling. But uh, call the center and get yourself uh, in queue and ask for a connecting to the other side session. And we'll connect with your mom and we'll ask questions about what's going on with life as well. Okay, and like how I can fix this, because like so there two, the two kids want to get my the, the machine to build my hay, machines to build my hay, and they're pretty dedicated. The rest of them are very unreliable. Well, my dear, it's going to change, but we've got to make those changes, all right? Yes, thank you, Sarah, for everything. Oh, you're welcome, sweetheart. Good to hear your voice. God bless you, and uh, call the center tomorrow, the Expedito Center, and we will get you in my schedule. All right, thank Five, you. Five six one six eight two zero nine five five. Wow, you did my job. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Joe. Right. God bless. After all this time, I'll speak with you or someone at the store tomorrow. Thank Great. you, Sarah, thank for you. everything. You're welcome, honey. God bless you. Bye.
Well, thank you everyone for your questions on Facebook and thank you for your phone calls. We still have some calls on the board, but I just want to take a minute to remind you that next Wednesday we're going to be broadcasting live from Juniors. And it's from 7 to 9, but please come early. Be there ahead of time. Let's hang out and spend time together. And Juniors is at 409 Plaza Real in Boca, Florida. So do look up Juniors and go to my website, Sarah Spiritual, and visit it. And it's at Meisner, right by Meisner Park. So you'll find us. Just ask everyone, where's Sarah Spiritual? They're going to know. And we have time for one quick phone call. And that means that I need to go to Didi. And Didi is in Jupiter. Didi, I have two minutes and I didn't want to leave you hanging. Spirit said I had to Thank take you. your call. What's your question for me tonight? <laughs> Thank you so much, Sarah. Um, yep, well, I'll try to get, do it really quickly. Um, been trying to hear and feel and see any kind of messages um, from my from angels or family to find out what they think of what I've been going through since April. I lost my mom last week and I traveled up north and I learned some new revelations about my dad that I'm pretty disheartened about and uh, having a hard time dealing with those feelings. Yes, l let go and, and forgive in that um, in that energy. <sighs> hmm. Can I just ask um, your father's first name, please? Charles. Okay. Because why are they talking to me about Charles and how he handled things? Does this make sense? Yes. Okay. Something about money and how he's handling things or handled things. Yes. So yes. Um, he's complicated. Um, yes. Little. He didn't do it by the book, honey. This is the problem. No. All right, and this is why we have to send him forgiveness and healing. Um, it's not for you to wonder if he went against your mother's wishes. It's just that he did. Charles does what Charles wants to do. This is what Spirit's telling me. Yes? Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, Charles is in charge in that household. Um, your mom, I don't have connection with your mom. It's a little too soon for that. Uh, okay. But Spirit told me that they... She has two women who she connected with when she went right there. One stands above her and one stands to her side. Seems like a sister energy. Does that make sense to you? Nope. Would probably be mother. Mother. But there's another female there who was there to greet her. And it's in a similar age bracket. This is what I have in the connection. But since I don't have mom, I can't make that bridge yet. But I would love that opportunity to connect um, to her for you in the future, my dear. Okay? Okay. okay. All right. Trust Thank that you know what you know. Uh, Charles didn't do it right, but it'll, you'll work no. through it, all right? Okay. Thanks, Sarah. You're welcome. God bless you. Thank you. God Good bless night. you, too. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, everyone, for sharing time and space with us. Thank you, angels and guides. Thank you, Archangel Raphael, for the healing that you brought to us. And thank you, Archangel Michael, for always standing and guarding us and protecting us and standing against that which is not in divine alignment and perfection. And I want to thank you all for being here with me every Wednesday night from 7 to 9. I do hope I see you at Junior's next week from 7 to 9. And thank you. God bless you. Good night. And I am Sarah Spiritual. This has been Spiritually Speaking with Sarah. You can hear and speak with Sarah Spiritual every Wednesday from 7 till 9 p.m. Each week, Sarah Spiritual and Spirit answer your most important questions as you navigate life. Listen and call in next week and let Spirit guide you. If you didn't have a chance to speak with Sarah Spiritual tonight, visit Sarah at sarahspiritual.com. You can message Sarah Spiritual and follow her on Instagram. Tune in next week for more Spiritually Speaking with Sarah.